Hi, Melissa. Hey there. How are you? Hey, hey, hey. I am good. I am freaking exhausted. How are you? I bet. I bet you're not sleeping very much anymore. Oh my <laughs> gosh, man. It's it's already crazy enough. Like it's already crazy enough having a kid. But then when you have a kid that is around the same age as another kid, that's hard. Yeah. Like that. I bet. Like my daughter is like she's like well she's tw- like I think yeah she's she's gonna be two in August. Okay. And so when this little one came home, and my wife is nursing the little one now, gosh, she like she hasn't stopped having a tantrum. Oh like, yeah. Her, her boob got taken away. Yeah. And so now yeah. She, when she when when he cries, she cries. When she cries, he cries. It's like freaking World War Three. Oh, uh, she yeah. needs some extra attention and love. It sounds like. Oh my gosh, mm-hmm. it's like now I'm seeing the little personality come out of my daughter, and it's very very. Weird. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> it's. Uh, what are you up to? How's everything? I'm everything's good. Um, good. super busy, which is good and bad. So yes, yes. You know, are yeah. you running ads to to Karcher pages now, or what? What do you got going on? No, so that's what I'm having trouble with. So I um, I went through pretty much the all the first five steps of your your uh, awesome. advice, your program, and so I have all the branding, except I don't have the Karcher pages set up. Gotcha. I down. I like imported the codes and I just like, I don't know. My thing is like, I'm borderline ready to just pay a consultant to design it all for me because I just, I don't have the time to sit and play with it. And in my state, a lot of stuff has to be customized to add disclosures and certain information on the pages too. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So anyway, so I'm just, um, I don't know. The plug and play needs to be customized for me and I don't have the time or energy to learn how to do it, I guess. Okay. Okay. I mean, I could, this is what I do. So Kartra, Kartra and Facebook ads. I mean, those are the two things that I, that I, that I do all damn day. So this stuff is easy to me. Like I can easily help you with this stuff. Um, But at the same time, like what I've just experienced, a lot of it comes down to, well, first of all, the technical side that's all me. Like I got that. Like I, I know that I know everything about this system from, from the tech side, but when it comes to each and each individual, each one of us, we all have our own, you know, style and, and, and taste. And so sometimes I just have a hard time trying to, trying to, trying to design it to someone's liking, you, you know okay. what I mean? So like I could put the pieces to the puzzle, but then once, once the puzzle is, is put together, then I may need your two cents to say, David, change that color or maybe change that headline or maybe change that font. Just like the little things. It's just the little things that, that we all, you know, tend to have a different taste in. Sure. You know, so like, for example, this page right here, you might like the color green and I put blue. You right. might want one button, but I put two. You know what I mean? So it's like... It, it's just the little things, but the tech side of it all, how to, how to even put it there. Like I can do that stuff in my sleep. Okay. You know, so if anything, like just putting it all together and then, and then maybe just having your two cents to, to look at it or, or, or just add some, some suggestions on editing. Okay. That would be perfect. Like I okay. can, I can have everything done and then you'll just take a look at it and yeah. say, okay, cool. Change that color or, or maybe add this disclosure or whatever the hell you need to add, you know, like little, but it'll be all minor things like, you know, okay. like little things. So, but at the same time, this, this whole, what I want you to also understand about, about not just car trip, but just the whole quote unquote landing page in general, just landing pages landing pages are are designed to be very very the the yeah the, it's not that they're designed but the the whole objective is to keep it basic like to keep it super simple like it's not a website it's a web page so and 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 that web page the only objective is to get someone to click the button and enter their name and email like right. that is it like the whole purpose of a landing page no matter if it's Kartra or any other real estate landing page, the whole objective is to get them to click the button. So, so it's not about overwhelming an individual with a bunch of text and a bunch of buttons. 
It's just a headline, a few bullet points, an image or a video and a button. That's okay. it. Like that's it. And, and what makes it work is the fact that a person is running ads is running, whether it's a Facebook ad an Instagram, whatever, it's the fact that you're running traffic to it that makes it convert. Because if, if, if a hundred people hit this page and let's just say 10 of them filled out the button or click the button and filled out the form, we're going to be doing very, very well. But to get a hundred people there, we had to, we had to for sure run an ad. Right. You know what I mean? So, so a lot of people, they'll, they'll start their Karcher trial or they'll just go and get landing pages in general and they'll just take the link and start sharing it on social media. When it's like, dude, that's not going to do it for you. Like you're going to end up spending money for landing pages and it's going to cost you every month and no one's going to be clicking on that link when you post on LinkedIn. You know what I mean? So, yes. so it, it, it's, it's solely for people that are, that are really planning on running ads. Um, that's number one. And then number two is just keeping the page as basic as simple, as basic as possible with, with one button. And that's the call to action. So the page will be for either a listing, it'll be for an open house coming up, or it'll be designed to give away a buyer guide or a seller guide. Right. That's what yeah, I I'm kind recommend. of interested in doing the seller guide. Um, that's where my focus is, but I guess then I'll work on the buyer guide once I have that established. Yeah. I, so, and, and I would, to tell you the truth, I would focus on one, like, like focus on one for right now and, and, and start running ads for, for that one. Okay. And, and then once, once you start capturing leads and I, I would even say, go as far as once you start getting people in escrow, like once you, once you really start helping people list their properties, then you can maybe start another campaign and focus on, on giving out a buyer guide. Okay. But, but it, it's to, it, it, the reason why I kind of suggest that is to keep it simple for you because, because what you want to start doing as, as, a, as a person starts running ads to their local area, you want to start. And that's why there's a whole bunch of more stuff that goes into Facebook ads. Like there's on the back end there, there's, there's what Facebook calls custom audiences. So for example, as you start to run ads to this page, actually, let me pull up an actual, let, let's get even more relevant. Let me pull up. Um, Let's say, for example, let's say we were running ads to a listing and, 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 and we were running an ad and every single week you're running an ad and, and, the, and the page is this. We're taking them to this page right here. We want to focus on one thing. Now, if you have a listing, that, 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 that's, that's, that's a whole different ad and for sure you want to run that. If you have an open house, okay, cool, run an ad on that. But if, as far as the buyer or seller, you want to take over your area with Facebook ads and focus on one buyer or sellers. And that's when we're giving away a guide because as you start to run ads to this page and as you start to run ads to your local audience, your local market, Facebook allows us to start building these, these custom audiences. I like to call them, a, I like to call them buckets. Like all you're going to be doing is putting a, putting all these people in a bucket. And so what that means is as we're running an ad and let's say a hundred people come to this page, those hundred people are now in a bucket and that's what Facebook calls a custom audience. So what, what, what I always recommend doing is, 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 is filling up these buckets, like filling up huge buckets of people in your area that are interested in the same thing and that's buying or that's selling. So if I can get hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people to my page that are all interested in one thing and they all live around the block, that makes it easy for me to create content every week because now all you gotta do is focus on, on topics of selling and, and giving away a seller guide. And that just allows you to start, start filling up these buckets, huge buckets of all, of, of all these people that are interested, interested in the same thing. Rather than if you, if you went out there and started targeting people that were in foreclosure, targeting people that needed a short sale, targeting people that needed to freaking, you know, we're looking for first time home buying. Like those are, those are many different buckets. And all I'm saying is you're going to be spreading yourself thin with trying to build a legitimate solid bucket. Like build okay. one bucket first, build one bucket first before you spread yourself thin. And, and again, that happens by talking about a bunch of different topics we don't want a bunch of different buckets. Like we want one bucket. So I want, I want thousands and thousands of people in my backyard that all come to this one page. 
and, and, and in this case, it's for a listing. But if it was for a seller guide, I want thousands of people in my backyard, in my bucket, going to my seller guide page. Because, because as, that, as you start to fill up the bucket, let's say, for example, 100 people landed in the bucket. 100 people landed on this page and only, and only, and only 10 of them actually clicked the button. And those are actual good numbers. Those are really, really good numbers. 10%, you would crush it. Like you would literally be a top producer with that, with those numbers. You'd be a top producer with 1%. Just to let you know, like just to let you know, if one out of every 10 people that landed on this page filled out the form, you'd be a top producer. Like that's just how it is when, it, when you start running ads. That's just how it is. It's you, you, a, a small percentage would, would make you filthy stinking rich. Like it's not even funny. So you don't need everyone. So let's just say 100 people a hundred people landed on this page, but only 10 of them filled out the, click the button and filled out the form. Those other 90 people are in your bucket. So those 90 people that did not fill out the form, but they landed on the page, those are in your bucket. Those are people that are in your custom audience. And the reason why that's so important is because now as you go run Facebook ad number two, you're going to be able to continue to target your market, but then also retarget all the 90 people that landed here from the first ad. And then as you go run ad number three, you're gonna now, you're, now in week number two, you're gonna fill up another bucket. Those are now another 100, 200, 300 people that all landed on the page. 90% of them didn't fill it out for whatever reason. Now that's another bucket. We have a bucket for week number one, we have a bucket for week number two. Now we, as we go to week number three, we're gonna continue to target your local market, but then also we're retargeting everyone in week number one and everyone in week number two. And what that does is it, it gets people to see you multiple times. And that's what's so important is, is people that are interested in the same thing. They keep seeing you talk about the same thing, but now we're just talking about it in different ways. Like one week you're talking about renovating your kitchen. The other week you're talking about, you know, the difference between listing with a real estate agent or trying to sell it on your own. Another week, third week, you're talking about the importance of landscaping and making sure that everything is trimmed up before you list it on the market. Like there's so many different topics that you can break down weekly. So as we stay on topic, the whole call to action is to give away a seller guide. And now we're just attracting our local audience of thousands of people that are all interested in the same thing. But if I went week to week talking about foreclosures, then short sales, then buying, then selling. Now I'm giving away a buyer guide. Last week I was giving away a seller guide. It's like, dude, I'm all over the place. And, and so is your audience. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. That makes sense. So, so you can, you, the way you want to kind of look at it is monthly. So if you, if you're looking at it monthly, four weeks, you're running a new ad every week and you're just creating these buckets, you're filling up these buckets every single week. And that's a Facebook custom audience, as I mentioned. But, um, as you go throughout the whole month, four weeks, four ads, then if you want to switch it up next month, okay, cool, switch it up next month. But you want to, you want to at, least, at least roll out a full solid month talking about the same thing and, and building an audience of like-minded people that are, all, that are all interested in the same thing, which is selling, you know? Okay. So hopefully that made sense. Yes, it does. Yeah, so... These pages, these, these landing pages, again, it's, 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 it's when you're really, really ready to pull the trigger and start running Facebook ads. So are you, are you running ads now or, or are you planning on running ads? I, yeah, no, I have been running ads um, for a couple different things, like some of them for listings directly, some of them mm -hmm. for um, uh, somewhat of the same thing, not giving away the, the seller guide, but I've been doing... Um, like a catchy ad for get a quote on what your home will sell for in this hot market. Mm -hmm. So I've been capture, capturing some Facebook leads that way, but I find that like the Facebook ad center and lead area is just terrible to manage and navigate. Yeah. So yeah. I'd rather just have it externally and something else. So. Yeah. Oh, okay. So then you've been running lead generation ads. Yes. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, for sure. That, that, that's a little bit more, even, even someone like me that studies this stuff, I hate those ads. Like I hate, I hate running those. The only ones that you want to be running are ads to a landing page. And that is, let me show you over here. So as I click on the green button and I come over here to the setup, the only one that we want to be running 
first of all, you always want to check that box, right? Always check that yep. box for housing. And then the only one we want to be running is conversions. But conversions is only for landing pages. So if you have a landing page, that's conversions. Okay. So nine out of 10, I would say 10 out of 10, but I'll just, I'll just give, you know, give one off. But nine out of 10 marketers that are looking to capture a lead, that are looking to capture a lead or marketers that are looking to get people to schedule an appointment because I can run an ad to get people to schedule an appointment as well. It's the same thing because a person is going to a page, they're clicking a button, they're entering their name and email, they're clicking submit. So whether that person did that for an appointment with you or whether that person did it to get your free download or whether that person did it just to opt into your page and give up your, their information because you're giving away something, whatever it may be. Nine out, of 10 of, nine out of 10 marketers that are looking to capture a lead that way run conversion ads. And then, and then maybe, maybe the 1%, the lead generation, but with the lead generation, there's just multiple steps um, that, that, that you have to implement. And I, I hate, I hate having to add more, more steps than needed. Um, And what's so important also with, especially with lead generation, if you're not paying for a software, which is called, I think it's called Zapier, which, which is another monthly fee, Zapier integrates Facebook with your email autoresponder. So if you have an email autoresponder, Zapier is like the middleman. So the moment they see your Facebook ad, they click on it, they fill out the Facebook form because you're running lead generation. They fill out that form. And then this third party software called Zapier will take that lead and, and automatically put it into your CRM or put it into your email autoresponder. But that Zapier software, that third party software, that middleman, that's a monthly fee as well. So I'd rather just pay one monthly fee for landing pages and have it all done. You know, from the moment they see the ad, they go to a page and then, and then, and then, and then they're now in my CRM automatically. And I use Kartra for, for all that for, so I use one software for, for all that. And that's okay. Kartra, but that, but again, that's, that's conversion ads. So whether it's Kartra or whether it's any other landing page, it's conversion conversions. That's the okay. one you want to be, you want to be running. Um, yeah, that's super, super important. Super, super important. But, but at the same time, what's even more important is your, is your back end. So that the moment they fill out the form, that's why these leads that you generated with lead generation, I'm assuming, but I'm, I'm also willing to bet that those leads never received an email. Because No, it's up right? for me to manually contact exactly. them. Exactly. Yeah. So if you don't have that Zapier software, the integration where it's automatically put into your CRM, then I have to go into Facebook. I have to download that lead. I have to upload it into my CRM. I have to physically email them. It's like, dude, that's way too much. Like, I don't want to do none of that, you know? So that's lead generation, but conversions. Yeah. Now we're driving it to a landing page. They're clicking on the button and they're now in our CRM. And so what's so, so important is the follow-up is the nurturing of that list. <clears throat> the moment they come here and they click on that blue button and they enter their name and email, <clears throat> They enter their name and, e and your name and email are there, by the way, because I, I, it was the last information I entered. Kartra, whatever name you put into Kartra, because I put you into my calendar, because Kartra also has, is my calendar, <clears throat> then that name will be there by default in any other form. But um, <clears throat> what I'm saying is that what's so important is that nurturing of the list. So the moment that lead comes in, there needs to be an email autoresponder because you're not going to be sitting there physically emailing everyone, Right. So the moment they, they enter their name and email because they're interested in the listing or they're interested in your seller guide, they need to be getting emails. And so that's what, that's what most don't do is they'll run a lead generation ad or they'll run any other type of ad and they're not nurturing that list because that lead was never in an email autoresponder or some type of CRM that emails. And that's where you're missing out as well. So, so if, I, if, if you were sending me to a listing, if I was seeing an ad of a listing, I go to the page, I enter my name and email. I better receive five, six, seven emails after that. And I'm not talking like, you know, bombarding that person and send them a bunch of junk mail. No, I'm talking about real legitimate emails, like professional, like nice, just from you, a simple email, but they're automatic. They're automated. Like those emails you received from me, Melissa, those were all automated. 
Like look at, look at how much information and look at how much value you got out of those emails that followed from the day we spoke. It, it brought us back to over here. Like it literally got you back on the phone with me. And those were yep. all automated emails. That, that, so if I was running an ad to you on the front end, you came to my page, you entered your name and email. It was my email automation that educated the lead, brought them more information, brought them more value, and even got them back on the phone with me. It was my email automation. So the ad is one thing, but if we're not nurturing that list and emailing them good shit, it's like, dude, they're going to forget about us. They're not going to know who we are. And they're going to be clicking on the next ad in a heartbeat because you didn't make any type of impression at all. So that impression is going to be felt through the email. And, and here's another thing. Here's another thing I highly recommend. Are, how, how comfortable are you on video? Are you doing video at all? Um, I've done one or two, but it's definitely not my favorite. So I know okay. that that is huge in, you know, driving more traffic. So I'm willing to do more, but yeah. I just haven't yet. You, you're going to, I'm telling you, Melissa, you have, you have so much knowledge on this topic of real estate. It's not even funny. So it's almost to the point where it don't even matter what the heck you say on camera, people are going to respect you and people are going to listen. You are a quote unquote licensed real estate professional. Like you know more about the buying and selling of residential real estate than 99% of your entire state. And that's a fact. Unless it's someone that has been studying real estate for 35 years, maybe some hardcore investor, maybe a Grant Cardone. You may not, more than, may, you may not know more than a Grant Cardone or a Robert Kiyosaki, but the average Joe, Melissa knows way more about this stuff than they do. So the moment your video is showing up in some average person's, and these are average people, no disrespect, but we're all average people. I'm an average person. Like we're all average people. The moment the average consumer sees your video on the topic of real estate in their newsfeed, they are going to listen. Now there's going to be a lot that don't, but the ones that do, you have their attention. And it's almost, it almost comes down to, it don't matter what the heck you're even talking about. The fact that you're even talking about something, people are going to engage. Like you have to, you have to understand that. So a lot of the times we're insecure about maybe the way we look or the way we sound or something like that. When I'm here to tell you, man, none of that matters. Like no one gives a damn. None of that matters. None of that matters at all, at all, at all, at all. Like you have to just take this knowledge and start putting in short form video, one minute video, two minute video, take that knowledge and pour it out on camera. And it's so simple, man. Pull out your cell phone. These are selfie style. This is not hire a camera guy and get a green screen and have a film crew come out to the house. None of that is needed. It's your cell phone. It's selfie style on your cell phone, giving us two minutes of selling. What the heck's it going to take to sell my property? You know, like, like, and, and you're just, you're just crunching that down into, into short one to two minute videos and we need four a month. That's it. Like one a week. You know, that's on the front end. But what I was also going to say is on the back end, as that person comes to a listing page, as they come to your seller guide page, we're, we're, we're running an ad on, on, on giving away a seller guide and they come to your seller guide page. Like, let's just say, for example, this one over here, this is just a basic, basic seller guide, 10 simple tips to raise the value of your home before selling. Like that's a simple seller guide. Like that could be, that could be 10 pages of these 10 tips that will help me increase the value when I go to sell. Like who wouldn't want that? Like I'd want that. Like why wouldn't I want your, in, your tips? Like why not if I'm planning on selling? So a person comes here, look how basic this page is. There's absolutely nothing fancy about it. Like a simple, simple page. I'm telling you this right here drives leads. It's not even funny, but here's my point. As that person comes here, they see your ad, they come here, they fill out the form, send me your 10 tips. Here's what I was mentioning about what I wanted to mention about video. As they click on the button, they just gave up their name and email. They come to this next page. Thank you for downloading my free seller guide. This right here should be a video, a quick 60 second video of you. Hey guys, this is Melissa. Just wanted to say thank you for downloading my seller guide, but I also wanted to introduce myself and just let you know a little bit about me and where I'm coming from and how fired up I am about real estate. So, so on here, here's what I want you to write down. Do you have a, do you have anything to write down with, write with? Um, sure. Hold on. Yeah. Grab something real quick. Cause this, this right here, this right here is where you solidify the lead. 
Like this right here is where you separate yourself from every freaking agent in the, in the, in the town. It's, 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 it's going to happen on this thank you page right here. First of all, it happened on the ad. If you were running as a video, that alone, for me to keep seeing your video in my newsfeed and you live down the street, I might not click on it the first time. I might not click on it the second time, but you're targeting me for a reason. And three times, four times, I keep seeing your video. I'm going to click on it. Like, or, or not, but chances are I, I will because I keep seeing you on video. That's the front end. That is the ad. But as I get you into my funnel and that person gets to my landing page, they enter their name and email and then they come to it and, and then they click the button and they come to my thank you page. Here's the thank you page. It could be however, different color, different text, whatever, but here's the template. As they come to the thank you page, this is you on video. Here's the four things that you would talk about. And, and this is all, this could all happen within 60 seconds. This is a short, simple video on your cell phone. When they come to this thank you, this thank you page, four things. Number one, you're saying thank you, first of all. Hey, thank you so much for downloading my seller guide. You're, you're thanking them, number one. Number two, you're introducing yourself. Quick little introduction on who the heck you are. Number three, you're going to tell them to check their email. And by the way, guys, I just emailed you a, a, your PDF. So check your email here in the next few minutes. You're going to see a download where you can download your free seller guide. So you're now, now you're, you're number three, you're telling them to check their email. And then you're also telling them, hey, and by the way, I have some great emails coming your way that's really going to help you in this process of selling your property. So make sure you check for my emails and open every one of them. You're going to love the content I have coming your way. That's number three. So now I'm programming you and I'm physically telling you and I'm verbally telling you and I'm visually telling you in video to check your email. So now I'm going to program your, your mind to, to be looking out for my emails. So that's super important. That's number three. So whenever you send an email, that person's automatically they're going to be opening your emails all the time from this point on if you if you can tell it to them in the in the video and then and then and then number four number four is you're saying hey and by the way guys if you are planning on listing or if you plan on selling or if you just plan on really getting my 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 strategies and my and all my secret tips right now feel free to click the button it'll take you straight to my calendar where you can schedule the time to chat can't wait to talk to you. I have so much great information to give you regarding listing your price at the highest value possible. I'll talk to you soon. Click the button below. It'll take you straight to my calendar. So number four, I'm trying to get them to, to schedule a call. So, so number one, thank you. Number two, introducing yourself. Number three, check your emails. And number four, click the button below if you're looking to talk right now. I'd love to talk to you. So, so, so this was you on video, simple, simple selfie style video that alone completely changed the game. Now that lead comes into your funnel and comes into your world, knowing you're a real person. First of all, if they saw the Facebook ad and if that was a video, then they know you're a real person. But a lot of times if someone tries to run an image ad, which is probably what you did on the other ads, you ran an image ad and, and that person clicks on it. But if you would have put yourself on video right here, that person would have been like, okay, holy crap, she is a real person. Okay, perfect. This is awesome. That's what happens psychologically in our head. The moment we see someone on video, we automatically know they're real. But the problem with most agents, they just want to post beautiful homes when we all seen a beautiful home. You know, so, so it has to be different. It has to be a little different and, and that's video and, there, and there's nothing different than, than, than you. There's nothing different than, than, than me. Like the moment I put myself out there, there's no one like, there's no one like me. There's no one like you. So that automatically allows you to win. But then here's what happens now. This is why the back end is so important. It's the email autoresponder. If we're giving away a seller guide, those next few emails, let's, let, let's call it, let's call it, let's call it 10. So right away, the moment they put their name in email, they're going to instantly receive an email with the seller guide. Hey, John. Thank you for downloading your seller guide. Click below. You know, you could download your PDF right here. So that email would go out automatically. But what about tomorrow? What about the next day? You know, what about the next day? What I would have set up is I would have, let's just say 10 emails already set up to go out over the next. And let's say we send one out every other day. Maybe not every day. Let's say we send one out every other day. So I have 10 emails 
already pre-written, ready to go out every other day. So for the next 20 days, that person is going to hear from me. And in those emails, it's going to be very, very simple for you to put together a handful of emails, these 10 emails, because all we're going to do in the emails is talk about the seller guide. So again, right away, instantly, they receive email number one, and that's what the download, the PDF, the link. But tomorrow, they're going to receive email number two. And email number two is going to be very, very basic and very simple. Hey, Dave, this is Melissa. Hey, thank you so much for downloading your free seller guide yesterday. Hopefully, you're able to get to it. Hey, do you remember on page three when I was talking about renovating your, your kitchen? Here's what I meant by it. And all you're doing is just breaking down that seller guide. If it's a 10-pager, okay, great. Let's talk about page three. The next email, email number three, let's talk about page, let's talk about page five. And so all we're doing is just, is just breaking these emails down to, to talk about what they just down, to talk about what they opted in for. And, and, and in those emails, not only am I refreshing you on what the seller guide was about, but in the email, in each one, in all 10, there's a call to action. So just like on the front end, the call to action was to click learn more. That's the ad. The ad is going to have a, a button. That's the call to action. Click learn more. But in the email, and then, and then on this thank you vid, on this thank you page, the call to action is to schedule an appointment. And then in the emails that follow, I'm going to educate you more on this seller guide. I'm going to put my own personality into it, my text. I'm going to write out a few emails. But in each email, the call to action is to also schedule an appointment. So in email number three, I would already be going for the appointment. Hey, John, thank you so much for downloading your seller guide, you know, a few days ago. Hey, do you remember on page nine when I was talking about the importance of, 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 of remodeling your bathroom? Here's what I meant by it. And hey, hey, by the way, John, if you'd like some more tips and strategies or if you'd like to schedule a call, click the button below. It'll take you straight to my calendar where you can schedule your best time. Can't wait to talk to you, John. And that was email number five. Each email has that call to action. Schedule a freaking call. And so that's that's what that's what those emails are for those those emails are are so powerful where if you can look at it and this is the last thing i need to say i want you to look at this from a thirty thousand square foot view the entire thing is op, is automated the entire thing from the moment we put out the facebook ad that ad is running 24 7 while you're sleeping to the moment they're coming to the landing page to download the seller guide while you're at dinner with your family to the moment those emails are going out while you're playing with your kids. To the moment they're clicking on the button to schedule a call while you're closing deals. The entire thing is automated. Like I want to be able to wake up every day to appointments because people saw my ad last week. They're going through my email series and they're scheduling appointments without me lifting a finger. The entire thing is automated. I want to wake up to my calendar full all day. That's it. Like, I don't want to do a damn thing, but run the ad, you know? So, so when you can have, when you can have those systems in place, the Facebook ad going out the right way to the right landing page, to the email set up to get them to schedule a call with you, that's when you can really start crushing it. So a lot of agents that I speak to, they'll put way more physical effort into building their business where if they were to just put a few hundred dollars and invest in the marketing of their business, this, that's what it could look like. Automated appointments without lifting a finger, you know? So I know that was a ton right there, but hopefully some of that made sense. Yeah, no, it definitely does. I took some good notes. Um, so in your case, it just comes down to your seller guide, right? Let's focus on one yep. thing. That's what I would focus on. Let's focus on one thing. Do you have a seller guide? I have been putting one together in anticipation for this. So it's not quite complete yet, but it will be this week. So um, what are I you, guess- Are you writing it out yourself? Well, I mean, I have some stuff from my brokerage, but I'm pretty much just putting it into Adobe, changing a bunch of things and making it my own, Perfect. Uh, personalizing Perfect. it. Perfect. 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 And, and that right there, Melissa, I'm telling you, man, that is your bait. Like that's your baby right there. 
Like no one comes into your world without downloading that PDF. Like that is your bait. Like, like you want to, you want to look at it as if, as if you're running for president and, and we're going to go on a campaign, you know, run. Like our whole objective is to give out this seller guide to the entire freaking state. That's how you want to look at it. And, and, and so with that being said, you don't want to, you don't want to, you don't want to try to, you don't, you don't want to be su such a perfectionist where you need everything perfect on it. You don't want to look at it that way either. So I'm not saying it has to be perfect at all. Cause that's going to take you forever to roll it out. But I wanted to, I want you to look at it as your baby. Like that is your baby. You're going to use that to capture more leads than you could possibly handle. You know, so, so that's good. If you're working on it, that's perfect. Get it done get it done and then and then tying it to 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 a Karcher page doing the entire back end setting up the email list setting up the email sequences uploading it to the page all that stuff like i can i can help you that i mean that's what i that's what i do like okay and 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 i have an entire book funnel as well i don't know if you ever downloaded my book but it's a it's a it's the same exact thing it's a pdf people are going to the page they're downloading the book and then they're getting a series of emails and those emails are designed to get you to schedule a call with me. It's the same thing. So I've already set that up a million times on, on, on my end and setting up for you, you know, would be, would be fun and simple. Okay. Okay. Yeah. That's where I think I'm just kind of psyching myself out that it's this big, you know, I don't know. I played with it for a few hours, a couple days and it's just not, um, as user friendly as I hoped it would be, but that's okay. Like I'm willing to learn. I don't know if you, so do you usually do that? Like as like a consulting thing or like, would you teach me how to do it so I can self manage it moving forward? Or how does that work? Whatever you want to do, but what I can tell you for sure, and it's going to sound super obvious bias, but it's super user friendly. Like once I show you how to use it, like my, my 12 year old can use it like seriously. And he's not a computer guy at all. Like it, it, it really is simple, but yeah, in the very, very beginning, it'll, it'll, it'll seem like a second language for sure. Like even in the very beginning of, of my Karcher journey, again, whether it's Karcher or any other landing page, they're all very similar. But the reason why I use Kartra is because it's the same price as all the other ones, but it comes with everything else. So at a hundred bucks a month, let's just call it all the different landing page softwares cost about a hundred bucks a month but they're just the landing page. Then I got to go get another software and pay another monthly fee for the email autoresponder. Then I got to go get a third software and pay another monthly fee for the calendar. Okay. So that's why I use Kartra because it comes with all that. It's, I use it for my landing pages. I use it for my email autoresponder and I use it for my calendar. Okay. So, okay. so that's why I use Kartra, but I've used all of them under the sun because this is what I do. I do, you know, marketing, capturing leads. This is all I do. So I've seen every other platform out there. Kartra is by far super simple. But in the beginning, yeah, like I had to, I even had to hire somebody. Like I had to hire somebody in the very, very, very beginning. This was 2018 when I first jumped on Kartra. Um, I had to hire someone for sure. But once, once I learned it, it's like, man, like it's simple. Like, and, and all. So to answer your question, I can either, either teach you how to use it all or, or you can just delegate it to me. It's totally up to you. Like it's totally okay. up to you because I don't want you to look at Kartra as if you got to go build a whole website. Like we're going to use, we're going to, we're going to use Kartra simply to build web pages and, and whatever, the, whatever the topic is, that's what we'll build a web page around. So if we have a listing, okay, cool. Here's the page. If we have an open house, okay, here's the page. You know, if we have a seller guide, here's the page. Like it's just, it's, it's, it's whatever topic you want to run. Now, if you have a listing, if you have an open house, okay, cool. We'll run an ad for that. But I highly, highly, highly recommend focusing on that seller guide. Like let's crush the heck out of your local area. Let's run Facebook ads to capture as many leads as we can, giving away a seller guide. Like that okay. right there, I think would, would make everything simple and, and, and just have you even busier than busy. Like, because you'll have all these leads, but at the same time, your whole, your whole time, here's what I'm trying to really say, as I try to say earlier, as, as far as everything being automated, your only time would be speaking to people who scheduled an appointment. Like your, your time wouldn't be spent figuring out Kartra. If you, it's up to you. Like, so again, you can either delegate it to me 
or I can, I can, I can teach you. Like we can set up a handful of calls and I can just teach you to use the whole damn thing yourself. You okay. know, so, so it's kind of up to you and, and whatever your budget is, like, I don't really have a price. Like, I don't really, I don't, I mean, I don't really care. Like, I just want you to succeed. Like you'll, first of all, Kartra pays me a little percentage just to get you on the damn system. So, okay. so they pay me a little referral fee, not much at all, but, but my whole job is to help you succeed with it. So you keep it because they pay me monthly on your account. Like I'll just keep gotcha. it real with you. Yeah. And, and that's why I'm willing to really, you know, whatever work with you with whatever budget you have to just get, get the damn thing done. Now okay. there has to be something there because it's, it's time consuming. So whatever, whatever fits your budget, I mean, we can set up, you know, set that up and go from there. Either I coach on all this stuff or I just do it for you. I'd, okay. What, what would you rather prefer being learning it yourself or, or not even? I don't know. I would, I mean, to be honest, I'd probably prefer to just learn it myself. Perfect. Where, Perfect. Um, Perfect. You know, let's, let's focus on that. Okay. That's the first thing you said that, and that's, that's what I prefer. Like, I want to coach you on this. Like I want to teach you to do it yourself because I truly believe it's simple. And that's why I don't really believe charging someone a whole bunch for it because it, it, there's really nothing to it. Like once you learn it, you're going to know it. So to have to keep charging you for that, I don't really want to do that. So if, if we just maybe set up some coaching calls, then that's, that's, that's better. Like you'll learn it, okay. you'll learn it quick. And then, and then again, I'll always be here as a, as a crutch. Like if you ever need to message me or, or get me back on the line and say, Hey David, I'm freaking stuck on this part. Let's knock this out. Like there'll be no charges, you know, at all for, for any of that. Like you'll always have okay. it. It's yeah, just and the, I like, front end. I don't know. I come from a software background. I've worked in software my whole life almost before mm -hmm. being a realtor. So, I mean, I'm pretty computer savvy, but I guess I was just, it seemed like the interface changed. Did it change within the last month? Like the first time I logged in and I used it, I set a bunch of stuff up. And then the next time I went in, it looked almost completely different. So it was just kind of really weird to me, to be honest. So, um, I did, I have done quite a bit of I have worked within it. I've like changed. So like that screen you have up right now, for example, mm -hmm. I went through and I completely changed the look of it. Like mm -hmm. I did a mm -hmm. new background for a home Good. that's more Wisconsin style. Um, but it, so, I mean, but I'm just having trouble putting it all together with the autoresponder and like scheduling yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah, everything yeah. in the right order. Yeah. All that back end part. Yeah. In the, in the beginning, that's, that, that part is, is a little confusing for sure. For sure. For sure. That's where you'll need some, some guidance. Okay. So I just, I truly did. So did you already set up your 14 day trial or, or not yet? I did. I actually have paid for the first month, gotcha. which I, okay. I've been procrastinating saying I'm going to take the time to do it. And I just haven't yet. So, okay. So then let's schedule, let's schedule how, I mean, I truly believe you can, we can learn it. Like, I mean, again, you're always going to have me, but at the same time, I truly believe I can teach you how to do all this stuff. I mean, yeah, I wouldn't no, say, I think, yeah. I wouldn't say I mean, an hour, but may, maybe a couple hours. You'll like, as far as, I mean, the max, like the, uh, like two hours, like I can literally teach you how to do all this stuff in two hours, like less than two hours. Yeah. My no, I believe that. I believe yeah. that. I feel like I, I mean, I, and I'll play with it before we get together too. So I just know that where I get stuck. Um, but I think that if I just had someone to sort of give me a good overview, I've even done some of the YouTube videos, but again, I feel like the interface changed. Yeah. So, um, yeah, yeah I just, it wasn't, you know, I was trying to follow some of the steps and it just, they weren't the same. So that's mm -hmm. where I got stuck. So no, I think, I think even, you know, an hour and a half, two hours would be extremely beneficial and I'd be able to go a long way with that. Sounds good. So putting people in a bucket, knowing who lands here, that's a Facebook custom audience. That's our bucket. So we have to set that up. We have to set up our custom audiences. We have to tell Facebook, Hey, here is the page. Start tracking everyone who lands here and put them in a specific bucket. That's number two, we have to set up custom audiences. And then number three, we got to set up a, a, what Facebook calls a custom conversion. And that's for people who are running conversion ads. Facebook, what everybody thinks is that Facebook, okay, so here's the page. So let me, let me, let me, let me explain it this way by asking you a question. 
let's say we're giving away the seller guide, right? That's what, that's what we're going to plan on doing is, is give away yes. the seller guide. So yep. if I asked you, Melissa, what is our goal? Like if we have the Facebook ad, we have this page, we're looking to capture leads. And if I just asked you a simple, simple question, and it's not a trick question, it's, it's a real question. Like what is our goal? To ultimately get listings. Okay, so that's, that's, that, that's down the line. But as far okay. as the ad, as far as the page, so let's just, so let, yeah, um, let me put it that way. So like to capture email addresses of people in my area that are interested yes. in yes. listing. Okay, so, here, so here's how Facebook works. And this is the third part, custom conversions. So number one was the pixel. Number two was the custom audience. And number three was the, uh, or is the custom conversion. So here's, here's what I'm saying. Our goal, when we run a Facebook ad, our goal is to get them here, right? Because I, I need you to see the ad. I need you to click learn more. I need you to get to my damn page. That's my goal. But my ultimate goal is to get you to fill out the form. So my ultimate goal is to get you to put, put your information, click the yellow button, and get to this page. So Facebook, they don't want to know your goal they want to know your ultimate goal. Your ultimate goal is to get people here. So with that being said, we have to give Facebook this link. That's a custom conversion. So we need to tell Facebook, hey, I'm going to run conversion ads, but here's my ultimate goal. My ultimate goal, Facebook, is to get them here. And the only people that will ever get here, because you're not going to Google search and find this page. The only people that will ever get here are people who fill out the form. So, so we have to give Facebook this link right here, and that's the link to the thank you page. That's our ultimate goal, is to get people to land here. So we set this link up, we set this page up as a Facebook custom conversion, and we start capturing leads. So set up three calls set up three calls we're gonna we're gonna conquer kartra and we're gonna we're gonna conquer this facebook ad setup so you can start just running these the right way and just put this thing on autopilot okay okay so set up three calls and set it up this week if you have the time so if you have the time this week and then should i just use the same card that i have on file i don't know what card it is but whatever card we use the first time yeah Yep, okay. that's fine. Okay, cool. So let's schedule three calls and then and then we'll just go from there. But okay. I just know that we'll be able to knock this all out. And it'll be it'll be three. It could I mean, I'm gonna try to do it in one hour. Sometimes we go a little over, but okay. um but but hopefully hopefully we can knock it out in one hour because the moment we go over, I, it's just way too much information and I don't I don't want to overwhelm you. Sure. Just like I probably overwhelmed you on this damn call. This is a ton no, of No, no, you're fine. Right? Um, so I, I guess one question, should I have all of these things ready? Like the 60 second, like no, no, all no. of the notes I took. Okay. You don't need, you don't need, you don't need to. I mean, you can, you can like, for example, if you want, if you want some homework, here's some homework. Your homework would be to, yeah, practice a 60 second video. So we're going to focus on giving away a seller guide. So what is the thank you video for that seller guide? That's the homework. So, okay. so practice that, that short 60 second. And again, it can be two minutes, whatever. Like I have, like, if you go to my book page, you download, my, you download my PDF. Like here's my book page. Like if you go to my, my book page. So let's say for example, I'm running ads to actually it's not, that's the paid one. Let me go to the free, the free one. Okay. So as a person, so as I'm running Facebook ads to this page to give away my free PDF, just like you will be, you'll be doing, they come here and this is my book that I'm giving away and they fill out, they fill out the, um, they fill out the page or they fill out the, the, the button. Here's what happens. A person comes here, they fill out, let me just put, um, actually I'll just put a bogus email, send me the book. Then they go to my thank you page. Look, exactly what I'm teaching you, I'm, I'm doing it myself. This is what I do. You come to my thank you page and it's me on video, but I go on longer. So again, I'm telling you 60 seconds, but to tell you the truth, you can go on as long as you want. 
what I'm doing in my video is I'm thanking them, I'm introducing myself, I'm telling them what's in the PDF, I'm telling them to check their emails, and I am telling them to schedule a call. That's, and, and I'm saying all that because I talk a lot. I'm saying all that in about eight minutes. I think it's eight minutes. Let me check. Nine minutes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for downloading your copy okay. of the Social Real Estate Agent. Five steps to implement on social media to capture more leads and build your personal brand fast. You guys, my name is David Cantero. So I go on for nine minutes telling you what the hell is going on. So those four things that I, that I mentioned that you mentioned in this, in this video, I go on for nine minutes talking about those four things. But again, that's me. You know, I'm, I'm a little more comfortable on video. I, I, I tend to talk a lot and it's like, I went on a little longer, but you, you can keep it, you can keep it short and simple as well. But it's just the fact that you're on video, you know? So, so that's your homework. Practice that video, practice that video. And then also, here's what I also want you to, to work on as well. And this doesn't all have to be done by the time we talk. It, it doesn't, but this is something that you can definitely start, start on. I want you to start, working on the emails that are going to follow and those okay. are simple like don't you don't have to fully write them out but maybe write maybe write the head the subject line like sure. email number one thank you for downloading your pdf email number two um it could be it could be it could be hey john did you get a chance to read the book yet or did you did you get a chance to go through the the the, the free seller guide yet and that's email number two and and in that we're going to talk about what's on page three email number three Hey, John, just wanted to follow up. And so that's email number three. And then, and then in that email, I'm talking about what's on page seven. You know, so, so maybe just put down some bullet points and, 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 and put yourself in the shoes of the consumer. Like if you, were, if you guys were listing your house and you needed some type of help or assistance or information and you downloaded some seller guide, what would be some good emails to receive after? Like what would you need to know? Right, you already know you're a real estate agent. I mean, you already know what they need to know. So, so maybe if you broke that down into a handful of emails, that's what you can you can maybe start working on. Okay. Okay. So, and that's why once 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 you get to my my thank you page here, that email already triggered. Now that person has their free download right away, and then and then in my in my funnel, I have five emails set up. And in my five emails, I'm talking about the five steps. Those are my emails. So, so all that's automated. In each email, I'm talking about each step. And in each email, there's a link to my calendar. That's okay. it. And so, and so again, it, it all starts with the top of the funnel. Having all this back end part, you know, set up. And then also... Anyone who lands on this page, that's why I'm also going to give you a whole Facebook, co Facebook ad coaching because as people land on this page, I'm running a Facebook ad. I get them to my landing page. They put their name and email. They come to the thank you page. As they come to this thank you page, Facebook needs to know that as well. Remember, taking them here was our ultimate goal. That's why we had to take the link and, and tell Facebook about the link of the thank you page. But as people land here, we're, we need to categorize that inside of Facebook as a lead. And that's a custom audience. So that's what I'm going to help you set up as well. I'm going to just freaking equip you and you're going to be a ninja by the time we're done. Okay. Okay. Sounds so, good. So get back to that link. Schedule, schedule three calls. We'll be able to knock this all, all out in three calls. And then, and then I'll just use the same card I have on file and then, okay. and then we'll, we'll speak whenever you, whenever you can schedule the call. All right. Sounds good. I'll do that. Awesome. Melissa. Awesome. Thank you so much. Message me. I'm going to send you my um, cell phone number as well. So if you need to, if you need to text me, feel free to text me whenever you need me. Okay. Awesome. Facebook Thank message you so much. I appreciate your yes. help. You're awesome. Let's, let's rock it. Time to crush Wisconsin. That's, that's your state. Time to take it over. Sounds good. Get some Talk sleep. Yes, I will. Thanks. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.